Alrighty guys and gals, so thanks for joining me again. Uh, today we are going to be working on this go-kart here. Uh, a friend of mine brought it over said that it wasn't wanting to drive properly, so we're going to kind of dive into it and uh, see what we can't figure out. Uh, another thing that he had mentioned with it was that the engine's not wanting to stay running properly. It's idling weird, and so we're going to go through and just get this thing right for him. Alright, so uh, before we get started on all that, if you haven't already, go ahead and jump down and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you know when I do my job by bringing you more content. So let's get after it. Alright, so the first step on figuring out about the drive uh, train on these things, uh, most of them are a, a belt and a chain that drives the axle. Uh, on the vast majority of these... Uh, you know, little go-karts and stuff, they're all going to be about the same. Uh, but the first thing you want to do is try to figure out where the cover box is uh, on this particular one. This is the box here, so we're going to take off these. Uh, there's five little bolts here. I'm going to pop that off and open up all of the drivetrain. So for this, you're going to need a couple of different things. Uh, and we'll kind of go through it as we use them. Uh, but for the first one, we're going to use our trusty dusty Ryobi impact gun um, with socket attachment extension and a 3.8 socket. This is just going to pop off those uh, five little bolts here. And for these back two, it's kind of a tight spot, so we're going to take the extension off. Alright, so let's get those bolts squared away so we know where they're at so we don't lose them. Uh, and then this just simply pulls right out of the way. And you can tell right off the bat that uh, there's your problem belts chewed slap up uh the pulleys here uh they're a little rusted up so we're gonna give those a little bit of a cleaning uh make sure everything's working properly uh now with these belts there's a couple different ways to take them off the easiest is to on this top pulley here you're gonna pull this little bolt out and that will allow this outer portion of the pulley to slide out uh, this is actually a, um, uh, what they call a torque converter for these go-karts. Uh, so on this particular model, it is a half-inch socket. So we're going to put that on our impact gun here. And uh, I will put a link to, to all of the tools that I use in the description box below. Uh, that way you can have all the same tools that I use. Uh, kind of make life a little bit easier for everybody if you're following along with my videos on anything that I need. So, quick turn on it. The bolt pops out now you want to make sure that you keep the the lock washer and the fender washer right with it uh, I like to set everything out in the order that I took it off but then we're just going to slide it right off and again keep everything just how it was and then pull the belt out and then that portion of it is complete now there is this little brass washer here uh, uh, or a bearing really uh, you want to make sure that that stays in place all right so with your new belt here uh, you're gonna notice that one side is completely flat and the other side has just a slight bevel on it I believe it's a two degree bevel uh, your backer plate on both of these are flat so that's where the flat side goes kind of feed it down in there a little bit and then we're gonna take and put our torque converter back on and you'll notice that there's a little groove in the torque converter a little key slot and there's a key slot in the uh, shaft coming out of the engine there I'm just gonna line those two back up best way is to kind of spin it on there just a little bit start feeding the nut back in and we're gonna take this bottom pulley here and open it up so we can get some slack in the belt. Yeah, it's not going to go right. 
So if it starts fighting you a lot, a lot of times it's better just to take everything back apart. Kind of get everything reset. Make sure the springs are set and all that. up the key slot have our slack taken out and thread the nut in Alright, everything should be working fine. Let's test it out. Strictly for safety, just because my kids ride this, and I like to make sure that they're as safe as possible. And the last thing we need is uh, something catastrophically going bad and this belt shattering and hitting one of my kids in the head. And get the granddaddy long leg off. Alright, so let's test it out. Just like that, the drive belt is fixed. So don't forget to tune in next week when I go through the carburetor and uh, get all of the other parts fixed on it, the uh, running issues. Uh, and like I said before, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop down and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. That way you know when I do my job by bringing you more content. Thank you.